Rollins provided us a global overview of the Hunger Project's COVID response. Could you share a little bit more detail about THP's response in Uganda? So we were working remotely. None of our teams were in the communities working with the animators, but the animators took leadership. And every voice that was in the community was like, you know, you people, this is our work. We have an obstacle. We have a challenge. We have to come together. What are you doing at individual level? What can we do as a community? What can we do as a nation? And we saw our animators and community participating at all those different levels. The animators and the epicenter committee were part of the COVID uh, response team at the district level. They're the ones that were distributing, you know, reflets and moving around with megaphones, trying to mobilize communities and sensitize them about what they should need to do about uh, safeguarding themselves. We saw the community, the epicenter itself as turning out as a demonstration site. What can we do to be able to do this? So whatever was being demonstrated at the epicenter had to be replicated at the community level and the community. So, so when you visit the community now and ask them, what have you learned from this? We are like, you know what? We have the power. And with this, we are continuing our efforts now to continue with the vaccination awareness because there's still some stigma around the vaccine. Of course, they're hearing about, you know, AstraZeneca, the side effects and all these. So they are preparing maybe the Johnson. But we are like, you know what? There's scientific, scientific research has been done. These vaccines are most ideal given different temp temperature environments within the different uh, parts of the world. And of course, a lot of information about the efficacy of the AstraZeneca vaccine among the Africans. So we have to embrace it and we have to work on that mindset shift. And slowly by slowly, the numbers are increasing. So many of the community partners are actually turning up. And all this is because of our joint effort as civil society to really also show our leadership in this whole war of the corona pandemic.